Welcome to the Impact with Robin Dorsey. Today we have some some fantastic guests here lined up for you today, and we're going to be talking about fashion. Hello and welcome. I am your host, Robin Dorsey, and this is the Impact with Robin Dorsey. So, our first fantastic guest, we're going to talk about fashion. So, it's all about what you look like, how you look, you know, strutting down that runway. And so, for today, we have for you Beyond Curves Magazine. And the owner of Beyond Curves Magazine is Mark Welch. And he actually is the one who's done my pictures on the wonderful flyers that you see every week. So when I tell you he is fantastic and fabulous, he makes me look real good, (laughs) y'all. So I thank you all for tuning in. But so let's just go back a little bit and talk about Mark a little bit. So again, like I said, so I met him way back when. And one of the district for curves and fashion to figure and Ashley Stewart model calls. So he is just fantastic. So we met at these model calls and, you know, we started talking and he was listening to the book and everything. And so we started working together and then I told him what I do and what I like. And he said, okay, well, here's my card. And after he gave me his card, I said, well, I need some pictures for my new show. So let me call him up. I called him up, and we did a fantastic photo shoot at the National Harbor. Again, the pictures that you see on the wonderful flyers and everything, and he just turned it out. But more importantly, since he's been doing photography, he has expanded, and now he has this beautiful, fantastic magazine called Beyond Curves Magazine. And we're going to talk about some of the amazing things that he's done in this magazine shortly. But without further ado, let's introduce Mark Welch. Hello and welcome. Hello, hello everybody. How you guys doing? Uh, my name is Mark Welch. I'm editor-in-chief for Beyond Curse Magazine. Um, I met Robin years ago at a casting call event that we did for the District of Curve. Actually, it was before I even started the magazine. Yeah. Um, I decided to do a magazine a couple years later because I shot for some other magazines and I wanted to share some of the other talent, boutiques, um, some of the models just to give them a chance to show what they um, could do. So yeah. That was kind of fun. Wow. So let's take us back. When did you actually have the love for photography? Uh, let's try about 11 or 10, somewhere around in that area. Okay. I used to take snapshots with my mom's 110 with the old flash cube. Um, Uh-oh. She always said. Telling your age. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a yeah. minute. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Probably, but it was, it was just fun. But she always complained about me using up all the film and had to run back to the you know drugstore and get them all developed. But yeah, that was just when I first started. And then I really, really got into really taking a lot of pictures um, on my traveling. When I went out and traveling as far as the military, I used to do a lot of um, just taking pictures of um, things we did out in the nature. What was your niche? What what inspired you to want to take pictures? And so was it something that you saw, or just something that yeah. just really ignited in you? And you say, you know what? I want to capture the, these moments. What was it? You know, um, it's not like it used to be. So we were big on having a lot of photo albums. And, you, you know, you flip into your parents' yeah. photo album, you see all these things from back in the day. Um, some of them were black and white. So I always, I always like to take pictures. It was just something I always like to do. You have some people in the family who would never want to get in front of the camera, but I just had a way of getting them out in oh. front of the camera to take pictures, yeah. And you do a fantastic job. The pictures are amazing. Thank you. I mean, I enjoy doing it. I mean, it's it's just a passion and something I uh, I can't really explain it. You really have to have that that really burning thing in your gut to just want to get out and do it all the time. Because a lot of people think it's fun and glamorous, and a lot of times it can be a lot of hard work. Yes. Um, I spent some shoots with two models um, with one designer for almost twelve hours. Wow. Just continuously hair, makeup, changing different wardrobes and. Yeah. So sometimes it's a long day. So to per- to perfect your craft, you have to do a lot of editing. Absolutely. Manipulating, changing of the clothes, some, and some you know clothes, hair, hair, adjusting oh, God, the hair. Yes, <laughs> yes. a lot of um, some people are really not a lot of cleanup, but just a lot of editing, a lot of time that we spend um, just sitting behind a computer. You know, yeah. you know, sometimes you just have to step away because your eyes are hurting looking at it. Okay. So what do you look for in a model? Who are you looking for? What's Actually, the type? 
actually, um, as far as beyond curves, usually we look for somebody who just has that passion and drive to want to actually model. Okay. You know, you have people who just kind of jump on the bank and say, oh, you know, somebody told me I was cute. Right. <laughs> you know, I have a nice figure and they decide I want to model. But then when they realize that there's a lot more to it Absolutely. than just being a pretty face. So, yeah, we actually got to have this time to rush. At the, at, you know, we're doing the runway shows. We got to get out of the clothes real fast. We got to jump into another yes. outfit. You know, I had one of my friends who said, well, you know, um, I tried this show and I didn't like it. And I didn't feel like I was being bossed around, so she never went back to it. So. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you started Beyond Curves mm -hmm. magazine. What year did you start this? This was 2014, so we're in our third year. Over third year. Wow. Third year. And so, tell us about some of the amazing places that you have <laughs> been to, because you all have expanded your brand. Wow and have done some fantastic things. So tell us about that. Well, the last big thing we did was uh, we did our first international shoot in Tokyo, which okay. was fun. Um, I actually showed the cover to people. Yes, do you see this? Simply beautiful. And we're gonna talk about one of his models and vice president of the company shortly. Oh. Yes. So that was one of the exotic places we've done. Uh, Essence, I've done uh, Philly Fashion Week, DC Fashion Week. Um, God, it's a ton of just different shows, events. Um, and then one of the other bigger ones that we did was um, the Las Vegas Charleston Fashion Week, which is another wow. beautiful uh, fashion show. Okay. Was that recently? This was uh, last year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So out of so far in your three-year history, what is your favorite location to shoot? <laughs> you live in the DMV, so I'm going to need you to talk about the DMV. Well, actually, like I have a couple. Of, I mean, I have a couple of places I really love. Um, I love down on the mall as far as the DMV because I love the museums and the outdoor settings. Okay. But then I, I do have a, a passion for loving my own city where I grew up at in Philly, and that's only because of some of the historic sites, um, you know, Independence Hall. Some people make light of the Liberty Bell about it being so small, but, you know, it's another historical place that you can Absolutely. take pictures. But, um, I mean, I love a lot of exotic places. Um, right now we're looking at doing Belize, um, yes. Miami. Um, and I'm always looking for some new, you know, diverse backgrounds and just some fun people to work with. Um, but I'm always looking for some new locations. I mean, okay. I always tell people we're always scouting and trying to find somewhere else new and, and exotic, um, something that nobody's haven't really shot and or really thought about. Sometimes it can be something literally right out in your own neighborhood, you wow. know. And you know, I will say I've shot in things in backyards. I've shot in things in basements. Okay. Um, Actually, one of my first uh, magazine assignments um, for another magazine before I started doing my own was actually in a basement. Okay. So. Okay, yeah. right, so you, you're not um, afraid to do home shooting no. for your magazines. You, you have a diverse group of, you know, locations and right. people. And, so, and then you just bring it all together and make it look just perfect like you did. I mean, you could have, uh, I mean... I was trying to think of the one I did in the actual basement with that dark background. A lot of people didn't even know it was a basement in Tom They thought it was in some extravagant studio. Yeah. Okay. But it's just basically what you're using. Um, you can turn anything out. You can manipulate anything when you're editing. So. so what you put in is what you get out. Right. right. I love it. I love it. So we're going to introduce your vice president and the sexy <laughs> and beautiful curvaceous model as well because she works the runway let me tell you all she is amazing so we're going to introduce miss lisa watts Watts. how, how you are you and welcome I'm wonderful 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 thank you for having us um i came on beyond curves about two years ago okay um when i started modeling and um i was very skeptical about it at first okay. But then after I did my research, talked with him, I was like, okay, I could do this. I could do the cover and work with him. And then after that, um, he asked me to come on as his vice president. Okay. And I said, okay. You won him over already. Oh, right. I love it. But the thing <laughs> is, I have an eye for what we should see as a female. Yeah. Okay. And, um, and I put that extra energy into that. I mean, mm -hmm. they were beautiful women, yes. all sizes. Absolutely. And I always say, we all have a curve. Yes. Okay. No matter curves. if you're from a zero <laughs> to the 18 or even <laughs> higher, we all have curves. Yes, we do. And I just put my fingers on it to just make it look perfect when he looking through the camera. Yes. So he said, yes. And I know I'm doing my job when he's in the back of the camera going, yeah. 
You that yes. validation yes. piece. Yes. 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 Get him what he needs. Yeah. Get him what he I needs. love mm-hmm. it. You always have to have a wingman mm-hmm. or woman. Well, uh, in this case, sometimes he'll give me that look. Yes. And I'm like, okay, I got to get on my job now. Okay, and then we have to crack that whip. And he said, I didn't get the shot. I need this perfect shot. Okay. And I'm like, okay, ladies, we got to get the shot together. Get yourself together. Let's get come yourself on. together. Tighten up. Tighten up. Fix, them, fix the girls. Fix. And then when we come out there and we do that, he was like, yes. <laughs> And when he does this, that means I did my job. Yes, yes, I love it. Yes. So I love it, I love it. So tell me, how long have you been modeling, and what inspired you to start modeling? <laughs> Ooh, I've been modeling for over 45 years. Oh, yes, seasoned. <laughs> yes, yes, I started when I was five. My mom and my dad put me into modeling, and... um I was a girly girl, so, and then I loved it. Yes. I enjoyed it. Um, and then from that on, I just kept going. And um, I went from just straight runway yes. to then all of a sudden I said, okay, I want to do a little bit something different. Okay. And I also coordinate, yes. help out in the background. And sometimes, now I want to hang my heels up and actually work with the magazine and actually push other models who wants to do better and push them along. Um, when I started, you know, the curvy woman yes. wasn't that that thing, you know. It, but um, I still pushed, yes. and I never said no. I'm just going to keep going, keep going, get go- keep going. Mm-hmm. And then as I got to the point where they called me, like Lisa, yeah. we need you. They called me Fab Lisa you Fab know, to Lisa. come out and do it. And then I just <laughs> grabbed the next model who had yeah. that interest that they really want to do it, yes. that passion. And I would pull them right on along with me and say, come on, this is what you need to do. Yes. you got to practice. If you want to be good, yes. practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. You know, yes, it does. You know, the grocery store is my runway. Yes. Okay. Uh, walking grocery store yes, is the runway. runway. Yes. Hello. You know, any, if you want to be a model, everything you do, you act like you're a professional model when you wake up. Yes, you have to put your hair and makeup on. Yes. Cause you have to be picture ready at and all times. Time. Cause you never know who you're gonna run into. Yeah. Cause I always say, pose. Yes. I say, oh, they got a camera. Go. Yes. Yeah. And we go go right into what, the pose. What? Yeah, you got to do it. You know, there's no shot. You can't be shy. In it. You just it. cannot be shy. Just get in it and do it. Yes, it's a lot of work. Yes, it is. I mean, a lot of hard work. But with a picture like this. Yes, do you see this? Do you see like this? this? Yes. I so, love it. I love it. I love it. And I thank him for it because this is something different for me. Yes. And I, I'm really, it, I mean, I love it. I just love it. Keep so, it classy. Yes, yes keep it classy. And so what people don't realize, so I'm about to tell my age a little bit. So <laughs> what people don't realize is so I used to model many, many years ago. Mm-hmm. And I started out with Glenn Jackson. And mm-hmm. we talked about Glenn Jackson and Harvey mm-hmm. Star. Mm-hmm. So they were the ones that really embraced the full-figure models. Mm-hmm. Um, back then, you know, really people only wanted to see the slender models. They didn't mm-hmm. want to see all of our curves that we had to offer with our curves and we buy more clothes than anyone in the industry period I mean that's a fact you can check your um, statistics statistics on Google please Mm -hmm. but um, so it was really fun and exciting so I started out doing it when I was in hair school I loved it I mean it was so exciting and energetic and you know when you hit there's something about when you hit that runway <laughs> and you take off and you know it's nobody but you in the <laughs> runway you don't have time to be focused on, on the audience because you have to make sure you got that walk right mm-hmm. you got to make sure you look right and your foundation pieces is on point and that's yes. so important people don't understand that you have to have your foundation quite perfect but them foundation pieces will make it all go away absolutely. and you look yes. just right yes. Absolutely. yes so tell us if someone wanted to join your team I really want them to help me to be transformed I want them to make me look like this right here because <laughs> this is hot I want you to make me look like this what would they need to do um, to be a part of your broadcast. Basically, a lot of times I tell people they just need to get some calls. Okay. So just come to cast call, show up. Um, sometimes you get a chance to talk to us and ask a bunch of questions. I know last time we had a casting call, we had a lady who, you know, we said, hang out. You, 
you have some questions, this is the only time you really get to see us. So um, stay posted. You can go on the website and go on and follow us on social media. That's the best places to. And every once in a while, I get somebody to send me a message. And you know, if I have time, I ask the questions and I answer what they have to say, especially if it's something that they really want to know. I know we were mentioning doing a workshop, which will help people understand what they're doing in the business. So okay. that's something that. So also stay posted too. So yeah, awesome. It's not difficult. It's just like any other magazine. You come to a casting call, um, show up, and you get picked. Bring your A game. Bring your A yeah, game. Don't straight. come in there. You know you have to make sure your hair is done. You have to be camera ready. Your clothes is nice and neat. You have on fabulous heels so you can show them what your walk looks like. And don't what? come late. Don't. Yes. Oh, that. Big Do not come mind. late. Come on, people. This is a job interview. They are looking at you as soon as you walk in the door. So you can't be late and, you know, looking all, you know, like you just can't wake, woke woke up, up from the bed. No, that is not going to get you on the cover of that magazine or any other one. Let me just tell you. That because that's so true. Um, some people, they come in and I'm like, you know, this is basically like an interview for you to model. If you want to go to these like, locations, you want to go in an actual legitimate hard copy magazine, yes. you have to bring your A-game. You have to bring your A-game. So I want to see your A-game if you're trying to get on this platform right here. Absolutely. Yes. So tell me, as a full-figure woman, you and I are mm -hmm. such, mm -hmm. what are some of the struggles that you have experienced throughout your modeling career? My, the only struggle that I had was my size. Okay. And before I became a full figure, mm -hmm. I would, when I was in that size eight yes. to ten, because of my hips, mm -hmm. a lot of the designers' clothes was cut straight up. Um, they loved my walk, yeah. my stage presence, yeah. but because of my size, the hips was a little larger. They wouldn't make the designs right. for that. Um, but that was okay. That that did not stop me. Okay. I kept going. I yes. kept going. Kept going. Kept going. I always said you might get maybe twenty no's. But that's that right. one yes. That one yes. yes. And, that's um, all it takes. That's all it takes. And I always, as a model, I always presented myself, no matter what. Even if I'm in blue jeans, nice shirt, my yes. face is beat, my uh -huh. hair is pulled back. Yes. And I always tell models, when you come to a model call, don't wear your hair all in your face. Yes. You hide in your face. Yes. Pull your hair back. You don't need all that extra jewelry. Yes. Small post earrings, you know. Really, you don't have to beat your face. Make it very soft. Yes, you absolutely. Know? Um, but my, like I said, the only struggle I had was because of my hips. Right. And, you know, we can't change that. Yeah, you know, God-given, God-given. God you know, you know, the moment. older I got, the curvy it got. Yeah. So, hey, I can't help that. But um, that was my only struggle. That was the only struggle I ever had in my life. And then when they went from that and then all of a sudden the curvy women was in, Take from it. Yes, because now cake. everybody right. want a piece Every. of the full That's figure full model. Mm -hmm. not, not to mention that first show we did. For, uh -oh. um, what was the first full figure show they did for Lord oh, and Taylor? Lord and Taylor. Yes. When they first started carrying the That's line. right. Mm -hmm. That was it, yes. two years ago. Yes, of fact, in, we did that. Yeah. They called me in and asked me to bring in my group of models to come yeah. in. And I just picked up the phone and said, look, I need you for this. Yes. And I do all sizes. So, you know, we go from... Now in the modeling industry, they say uh, uh, eight in some places is called full figure. Wow, right. at but size, size eight, eight is full figure right. in some places, mm -hmm. but we always say ten and up, yes. ten to eighteen. Right. And um, but my thing is that I always really look at the model and yes. I say, okay, you need to pull this in, you need to tighten this. Yes. Right. We cannot jiggle while we own. Yes, the not at all, not no. even now. So. And what people don't even realize, so I'm going to tell a trade secret. So what people don't realize, so when I was doing the beauty pageants um, when I was in hair school, and so we had to make sure, so even though I had the best foundation garments that I had on, sometimes we even have to put duct tape on because <laughs> some materials mm -hmm. don't give. Mm -hmm. And so it shows like a little inch <laughs> of imperfection, and you can't have that on certain runways, so you have to tape that up. So we're taping ourselves with the, behind the scenes you don't know that we have duct tape on our two hundred dollar foundation pieces yes. that we have to cut off of us mm -hmm. after the show. People don't even know that. But mm -hmm. I mean, it's just. But you do what you have to do to make the show look right, mm -hmm. so that you can look right, and that everything goes off without a hitch. Absolutely. 
Yes, I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us. So you were talking about, you know, they can look at your website. So tell them the website that you have oh, the, so they can the get to The website is uh, beyondcurvesmag.co. Then for you guys who follow us on social media like Facebook, you can go Facebook backslash Beyond Curves Magazine. I'm, I actually just started getting on Tumblr now, so I'm out there. Oh, you're stepping up your um, social media game. Yeah, I love yeah. it. So I'm starting to do small blogs there. That's just Beyond Curves Mag. And, of course, I'm on Instagram and Twitter, yeah. Beyond Curves Mag. Oh. I, well, admit, I don't do too much Twitter. You will catch me a lot on Instagram. Um, I get a lot of people send me messages and ask me questions about how to get in the magazine, so... I always tell them just, you know, not just that, but if they want to, you know, like I said, come out and yes. go to the casting calls. But I usually give my advice. Sometimes I have other photographers call and ask me things about submitting things. And we, and actually has all the submission guidelines actually on the website. Oh, so. on the website. So if you need help, if you want to be a part of this wonderful industry, go to the website, beyondcurvesmagazine.com. Correct. And then you can go and check out all of the wonderful things they have to offer, some of their fantastic magazine covers, and you can learn what it takes to be a model. Absolutely. And it's some everything. It's submissions for models, submissions for photographers, submissions for bloggers, and writers. Yes. Oh, all wow. See, so there you have website. it. There you have it. So it's not just about modeling. If you are a writer, a blogger, like he just stated, you have an opportunity to be a part of his vision and his goal. Absolutely. And his mission. I love it. So you're just empowering people all over. Well, it was something I always wanted to do. Like I said, when I shot for other magazines, uh, it's basically saw the same group of people always getting the same opportunities. And I was like, there's a lot more talent out here. So um, you know, I just eventually just said, you know what? Some people say, oh, you're crazy. Why are you going to do that? You know, you're going to go start a magazine, you know, how hard it is right now with the economy. And I was like, you know, I want to do it anyway. So yeah. I'm doing just fine. Good. Um, just keep pushing with it. Don't keep complain. Keep pushing. Keep um, pushing. Yeah. Nothing ever, I mean, nothing that you ever do that's a, that you accomplish in the world is going to come easy. So you got to work hard at it. Yes. So. Yes, indeed. Because people often always see the end result of the thing, the oh, end yeah. result of the magazine mm -hmm. cover or the end result of the fashion show. But it's hard work blood sweat and tears mm -hmm. that goes into Excellent. the back end of the production mm -hmm. of anything you that you do mm -hmm. and so people need to know that when you're when you want to do something to fulfill that dream you have to put in the time and the work because it's not going to just fall in your lap we would all love to believe that but that's not reality <laughs> that is not reality <laughs> it would never happen i mean <laughs> i'm trying to think from um, i would consider myself a rookie because i only started in 2010. yes so, just me shooting professionally, it's been seven years. Wow. It hasn't and been that long. That's Since then. So, well, I mean, you're I doing... I have to admit to people that I'm, you know, I heard it saying, people say, I want to eat. I'm still hungry, so I still like to go yes, out there. Yes, he so is still hungry. Yes. They don't truly understand that. Um, I have guys all the time who will come and say, oh, you still shoot? I'm like, dude, you, you don't understand that I still love to shoot. I still like to get out and do shows with you guys. When you guys in the back do your thing, I like to sit up in the front and I'm on autopilot. I just switch when it's time to put that camera on. So Yes, I love it. I love it. And you recently just opened up a new location. So he done left the DMV slightly <laughs> to go back to his hometown to Philly. So tell us about your new location. Well, so I opened up the Philly office, which is now the headquarters. It's um, Right there, 1635 Market. Mm -hmm. It's about a block away from City Hall. We're on the 16th floor. This is kind of a central location between New York, Boston, and going back and forth between D.C., DMV area, if you call it down here. So it was just a wonderful location to go to. Um, something I've been talking about doing for a while. Um, I finally just said, you know what, I'm just going to step out there and just do it. Yes, okay. So we're going to have to... Go down to Philly. Going to take y'all live in Philly to check out the new digs, okay. you know, and see. And then maybe we all be strutting down the little runway in the office. Who knows? Don't tell them what we're going to do. Oh, you no, know, but, uh, put all of our minds together. Oh, my God. It may be a little dangerous. Yeah, absolutely. I'm thinking if she gets in that massage chair, she'll probably never leave. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yes. So in a moment, we're going to introduce another fabulous guest that's also here to talk about fashion and but we're going to go to a commercial break and we'll be back with you shortly
live here at WBGR Sports and Entertainment Network Studios. So you just heard us talking to Beyond Curve Magazine, giving us some fashion tips, giving us what it takes to be a fantastic and fabulous model, full figure, non-full figure, you know, slender models, whatever your flavor is, they can accommodate you. But our next guest that we have is Miss Shannon Anderson, and her company is called Prissiness. She has a fabulous fashion trucks that go anywhere that you need her to go. Prissiness is the love child of self-professed fashionista who has loved fashion and beauty since a very young age. As a child, she looked up to her mom, who was the epitome of class, style, and beauty. As a young adult, she majored in fashion merchandising and business, but after graduation, took a long detour into public education. She went to the school, y'all. <laughs> With the dream and passion still alive, she never let the vision go, so she began making natural bath and body care products for friends, family, and as small businesses. Still yearning for fashion and style, she created Prissiness, I love that name, which incorporates her love for natural beauty, fashion, and jewelry. Prissiness was conceived between those loves. The site shares with you stylish jewelry made from metals, leather, and gems, rich body care products with natural ingredients, and the cutest clothing a pretty girl can find. Without further ado, let's introduce Miss Shannon Anderson. Hello and welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for coming with us today. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you. We love excitement. We love excitement. That's what fashion is about, excitement. <laughs> So thank you, you for having me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You look wonderful today, oh, too. Thank you. So you have a fashion truck, and it's yes. really, really nice. Thank so you. tell us about your journey to your fashion truck. Well, it's always been uh, my dream to have a boutique. Yes. And so, you know, after toying around with different types of, you know, multi-level marketing um, businesses, um, I started thinking about it more, but then realized the overhead of a brick and mortar was just too expensive, yes. especially in the DMV area. Yes. So um, one day I happened to be at home and I was watching TV mm -hmm. and it happened to be like a reality show of a people falling a fashion truck around all over the country. Mm -hmm. And so for life of me, I can't find this, this show anymore. I can't find it. I saw it that one time. Wow. And I said, that is it. So I mentioned it to my husband. And he was like, oh, yeah, they have those around there. They're called fashion checks. And I was like, what? You know? <laughs> so, oh, my, oh my goodness. So I thought, you know, it was I was going to have some, something new and inventive. But there happened to be several already up and running. Mm. So um, so I really, like, stalked a lot of the other ones around <laughs> and everything. Mm -hmm. and so it was fashion stalking. Stalkers. Yes, exactly. Fashion, fashion stalking. Truck stalking. Okay. And so, um, and I start looking for a truck. Okay. And um, I happened to find one on Craigslist that that was right down in Manassas okay. that someone was selling. On Craigslist. And yes. Okay. okay. Yes, it was on Craigslist, and it um, and it was right in Manassas. Uh, two ladies wanted to sell their truck, and it was perfect because it already had the built-in generator, had the air conditioning yeah, on it, me. it had everything I needed. So my husband took a look at it, and we ended up getting it. Yeah. And um, literally drove it back home. He drove it back home because I was scared to drive it at first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, one of the conditions of it was that I had to take her logo off, right? Okay. So I tried it for like 10 minutes out in the heat. And I was like, okay, I can't take the logo off. So literally I put like this this ad on, uh -huh. on um, what was it? It was on Craigslist, yeah. And okay. it said, you know, for any of $100 to take the, take the, the the wrap off of the uh, mm. of the truck. Okay. And literally at that time, um, I didn't even meet the guy. Someone was at our house. They gave us. I gave him the money. Mm -hmm. He took. He, he slaved all day taking that thing off. When I came wow. home, the thing was off. So then I got to put my. So I rode okay. around a while without a wrap at all. And I just would put a sign up because I didn't have much money to get the wrap. Right. So so well, people thought I was an ice cream truck. So I would. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh. And I was like, oh, sorry, babies. Anyway, but yeah, anyway, so that's so I, I 
for about three or four months. Yeah, um, I didn't have anything on the truck. Then finally, I saved enough money to get the wrap on the truck. So yes. yeah, so I've been up and running about what two and a half years now. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now that your dream has come true. <laughs> <laughs> What would you say was the, I guess, the first moment that you said, you know what, I made it, I did it, my dream is here. You know, you sold your first garment. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that moment. Well, I, um, I'm still working. On it. Right? I mean, yeah. So I guess the first event I did, um, someone actually found me, and okay. he was like, oh, I hear you have a truck and everything. He's the one that actually convinced me to um, come out without a wrap yeah. on the truck side. So up and got things and um, to go on the truck and everything and it was at um, Art Rave DC and DuPont Circle Ooh, and Art so Rave DC. yeah okay. so that um, so that was my first event that I really did and people were very responsive to mm -hmm. it and so it's just a lot of fun you meet people yes. from all over um, and then I go to the trade shows in New York yes. to do shopping mm -hmm. so since I still have a nine to five I have it worked out where our I go on Sundays. Okay. To New York. To New York. I take the train. I take the 545 train. Yeah. Oh, in the morning. morning. Yes. So yes. she's not waiting to 10 and 12 o'clock at night <laughs> to make sure yeah. that she, you know, she gets some rest. As an entrepreneur, you're going yes. early. She's yes. at 530 in the morning. She's going to get yes. on the train <laughs> to go to New York. Yeah. I get the there about 8. Yes. Um, so maybe I take the train a little bit earlier. But yeah, I get there around 8 and then I take a cab to Javits Center mm -hmm. and I do it all day, but knock wow. it out all day. So I have a plan. I've planned out what <laughs> people are want to see and yes. all that kind of stuff. And then I go till the last time, usually close the place down, then I jump on either eight o'clock train back or okay. or if I'm hanging out with my girls and anything in New York for a little while, I might yes. take the ten o'clock train back. Yeah. And then I end up you know then I come home and I get up and go to my nine to five in the morning. Wow. Unless I do Monday a uh, Sunday and Monday, then I take that Monday. So let me off. get this straight. So you mean to tell me, wait a minute, hold up here. So you mean to tell me you go to New York, you're mm -hmm. there all day, mm -hmm. you go into the big convention center, mm -hmm. and then you you in there, you see all of these wonderful, it's like a candy store. It is. Full of clothes. It I is. love it. A candy it store is. full of clothes. All and you go in there, mm -hmm. you're like supermarkets, but you just mm -hmm. going in there like, oh, I want this and I want this and I want this. Yes. But then you on the train, mm -hmm. how you getting all that stuff back home? What are you Oh, doing? no, 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 no. So... There, so there's a cash and carry, oh, which oh. I'm ready for. Cash and carry, But that's yeah. stuff you order. So you have to okay. order. So you okay. order in season. Okay. So, for example, if they're immediate, then I get the stuff, and I'm like, okay, I'll, I might get it in a week or so or two. Okay. And then I have my, like, right now, I can, um, if I went to one, I'd be ordering for spring. Okay. And then my summer stuff would come around July, August. Oh, and then, you know, okay. So, that's, so okay. I, yeah, it gets shipped to the So to you're the not, house. you know, having all the big bags on your no, shoulder no, on the no, train no, no, no. trying to get back home to the DMV. Yeah, I try to be know. very minimal in what I take, really. Yes. Because by the time I'm finished that day, my feet are hurting. I want to yes. crawl out of the convention yes. center. My shoulder's hurting from carrying my bag and everything. So I've learned how to, to knock it out in a day yes, and then still it. go to work on Monday and I'm just tired of work, but <laughs> it works. So how many vendors would you say that you even visit during the In a day? Oh my goodness. Um, I think the first time I did it was a lot okay. and it was too much, you know. Okay. Um so I think I've narrowed it down to my like fifteen, sixteen okay. vendors and then I do the cash and carry, you wow. know. Um, and a lot of them know me now, they okay. know, cause you know, we have, you know, the, I Report. order from them, mm -hmm. order from them all through the years, th things like that. So, um, yeah, so, you know, and you can make appointments with them as well. Oh, and so you, you always want to go to your, your old shopping? faithfuls and they find new ones as well. Okay. So yeah. they send you who's going to be there. So I look at the, with their, what they have. There, and then I decide if I'm going to go to, you know, to have an appointment with them or not. Oh, okay. So you actually met my featured yes, guest, I the did. Curves Magazine, uh -huh, uh -huh. and you were able to connect with each other. Yes. You have a fashion, truck, you have a fashion truck, they mm -hmm. have a fashion magazine, mm -hmm. so that you provided some pieces for them mm -hmm. for their wonderful tour to Tokyo. Yes, yes. yes I did. Yes. So let's talk about y'all experience with each other. <laughs> it's a power network. So who saw who you. first? Who, who said they wanted to talk to who first? How did that go? Um, I can tell you exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, oh, exactly. 
exactly what happened. Okay. Well, there's another young lady who happens to be a friend of hers, and it's like, well, we're looking for some more people who want to bring some clothes and, you know, to show face their work. Yes. So she was like, well, I'm not really doing it right now, but I know somebody has a beautiful fashion truck, so I was like, okay, well, can I get her number and have her call me back or whatever? So once we finally talked, We get on the plane. Yeah. So what do you, what do you have? Right, so right. we just went over our house and we just she just laid all the stuff out right there. Yes. House we yeah. basically. I basically tried it. Well, well, yes. Yeah. 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 So okay. 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 Right. I had to yeah. really try it. On. It was just fun to just mm-hmm. go through. She has some wonderful pieces. Yes, so. she does. She's on the cover. And she mm-hmm. also yeah. is one of the yes. well, one of her pieces on the flyer as well. Mm-hmm. See, yeah. see, I promote I small well. businesses. Oh, that's okay. that's that was her piece. Mm-hmm. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, she told me later on. I was like, oh my gosh, this is yeah. small world, small world. Yeah. Yeah. Small world. <laughs> I promote small businesses. So if y'all need me to wear some of y'all pieces, <laughs> just let me know, and I will, you know, showcase it and highlight it on my show. Yes, I will. <laughs> but let's, okay, let's get back. Let's get back to, to the guests. I'm sorry, it's not about me. It's about them. It's about them. So. Y'all met. Mm-hmm. It worked out well because yeah, she's again she's, on the, she's <laughs> on the cover. This is her piece that that she. Look, the jumpsuit. The jumpsuit. Yeah, yeah. This one. Yeah. Sorry, I can't see from my side. The other left. The other left. <laughs> but yeah, so she was integral to making that a success, and that cover is hot. It's hot. Thank you. Thank you. So, in your fashion truck business. Mm-hmm. You have people that's almost running, still running up to you now because now people know that you have clothes. Mm-hmm. So instead of the, you know, the ice cream shop, they like, oh, <laughs> the women, we're going crazy. Oh my God, here's a fashion truck. I don't have to go to the mall. Mm-hmm. I can just go shop in this truck. And they have all different kinds of things. And my, the person who just, you know, was at this show is not going to have the same thing that I have mm-hmm. on. So tell us about your experiences with your customers. Well, um, my customers... Or can come to my home as well because I only go out on the weekends. Some okay. of them are, need things like immediately. Yes. So, you know, there's times where I'm like running home, getting the kids food out for dinner, <laughs> helping them with homework, and the r- doorbell's ringing. I'm like, hold on, kids, you know, <laughs> you, you know, you work on your homework for the next 30 minutes right. while I help customers. Right. So, and then usually they tell me what they want, and I yeah. pull some pieces off the truck, and then they can come into the house and try things on. Okay. So you know, my in you know my my children are used to it now, and they come and help out. You know, yes. they, they see a customer a little hot. Savannah comes and brings a little fan for them. Yes. You know, yes. Come down I and love check it. <laughs> so it's like a family affair now. You know. Yes. So, but um. But yeah, they're welcome to come to the house, especially if I know them already. Yes. You know, yes. make sure it's safe. But um, they come. And he's like, I can't wait for you to come out this week, and right. I need something now because I need it Friday night. Right. So I'm going to a hot event. I have to look fabulous. Exactly, so, exactly. Can you so, please, mm-hmm. find me something nice. Yeah, and then, you know, some people see it on the website and just prefer to come and um, try it on. Yes, because you know. sometimes it looks different on the website than on that the mannequin. So, that's true. And when you that's put true. it on, some mm-hmm. fabrics have a little bit more gear. Right. Some of them just mm-hmm. lay perfectly, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. it does make yeah. a difference when you try mm-hmm. it on. Is it a preference? Well, I have an event tomorrow night. Where you at? Yeah! <laughs> Come on, Fritz. Come okay, on, Fritz. Because I'm going to see you. You should have had the truck. Sorry, sorry. Right. Right. We're going to be shopping in the truck. Yeah, I can see that. I'm MC in a big event tomorrow. Okay, night. Well, you know, yeah. nice you know where I am. <laughs> we are making moves here, people. Yes, I'll, I love I'll it. I'll look her up when I do the special thing in spring. <laughs> so we have a special edition coming up. Oh, okay. so you have exclusive spring um, rights now. Yeah, nice. For Beyonce <laughs> magazine, I love it. See, this is what networking is all about. Absolutely. <laughs> and being a part of a wonderful family and mm-hmm. just friends. So it just takes one person to, you know, make sure everybody is, is helped mm-hmm. and fed and mm-hmm. doing what they do, what they love to do. So this is fantastic. I love it. I love it. So. Your daughter, Savannah, is a fashionista. <laughs> she loves to dress up. So now, do you think that she's going to be interested in, like, the fashion game? Because she loves to put on different 
fabulous she has clothes. fashion shows all the time. Yes. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> ironically that you say that. So today they have Fun Friday and out and aftercare, and so they were able to design something. So yeah. she, they, they, I guess they gave them all types of little stuff. She said, "I'm going to surprise you with it, mommy." Oh, so yeah. She came and it was a little piece of fabric and it has some beads on it and other things like that. And I was like, so she unwraps um, it. And she said, do you like it? And I said, yes, of course, I didn't really know what it was. Right? <laughs> so she, I was like, well, what, hopefully she's not watching. Right, right, right. Yeah. I said, so who's it for? Is it like, are you going to dress your dolls in it or something? And she was like, yeah. And she said, can I be a part of Prissy now, Mom? Oh, I, be a part of Prissy? I was like, oh, yes, you can be a part of Prissy this now. Yes. And so what I did is I took one of her Barbie dolls uh -huh. and we wrapped it and made it into a little dress around her Barbie dolls. Uh -huh. And she said, so I do the Barbie doll clothes? I said, mm -hmm. <laughs> My son wants to make some jewelry and things, so okay. you know. So we we haven't started yet, but right. he uh, in nature camp over the um, summer. Yes, because he, he's he, a boy scout. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, but this was this was through uh, Puget County Parks and Recs nature camps. So. Oh, I love it. That's right, because we do do a lot of business with the county and the state. Real estate delegate there, You That's hear that? Just plug this in. Plug it. We'll plug, plug it. In. Yes. They yes. went mining because, and wow. so um, he and was buying all these quartz. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So. They he got it. all his quartz, and so he's he wants to make jewelry now. So he really? wants to, yeah, yeah. So he has all this raw quartz laying around the house. Okay. Did he, he find any diamonds while he was in there? Or he was not going to tell us. I, I wish. No blood no, diamonds. No blood diamonds. Yeah, diamonds. Yeah, no, 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 but he was excavating his little butt off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't even know we had that here. Oh, yeah. In this county. Uh -huh. Oh. Right at um, Costco Nature Park, where they took field trips to other places. Yes, mm -hmm. I love so yeah, it. we're trying to keep it in my family. The only person, you know, my husband just, you know, just looks to make sure, you know, I'm still working. Make sure, the money, <laughs> make sure that the money comes into the bank right, account right, properly. Right, right, right. right. So, so it's still all in the family. Yeah, uh -huh, he making uh -huh. sure he's adding up the finances. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, I love it. It's a family <laughs> joint effort. <laughs> Yeah, so we have some some little entrepreneurs already, and your daughter Savannah is how old now? Seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. So she's starting out at seven, wanting to design clothes mm -hmm. and dressing up and doing fashion shows mm -hmm. at seven. So it starts at a young age sometimes, and we just have to cultivate and motivate our children to you know live out mm -hmm. their dreams, what they want to do. Yeah, I, I feel it. sorry for our whole little friends that come over because they're made to, yes, to participate yes, they in the are. fashion shows, whether they're little fashionistas or not. So, <laughs> and so we keep all the little dresses that she's had probably from two on up. So wow. it, it, no matter what size, so you she are, has a wardrobe for you. Put you it know, on. I'm gonna dress it on. <laughs> Lisa, take us back to um, starting out going into one of the shows. Mm -hmm. Tell us what your day is like. <laughs> when do you wake up and then start the whole process of getting ready for a fashion okay, show? As a model or as a producer? We're going to go, let's t take us through as a producer and then we're going to go, go back, through back as to a model. model. Yes. Okay. That will be early in the morning. Um, actually, I probably don't even sleep because my mind is still going, oh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do for the next day. Wow. Mm -hmm. So um, normally uh, model, uh, a call time will be maybe 8 o'clock. Okay. So I have to be there like an hour before right. to make sure everything is set up and to go to do that. Um, and then as you have the models come in at eight, uh -huh. you make sure your makeup artist is there, the designers are on point. Um, and then also we do feed some of the models. We do feed the models. Oh, we do feed the models. Yeah, we do feed the models. We can't have the models passing out on the runway. Like all beyond curves have models passing out on the runway. They do feed their models, people. But you won't be eating no cheeseburgers right before you go on yeah, and try on these clothes. Let's be some realistic broccoli, here. Some broccoli, carrots. Some. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the thing is actually getting, like you said, your hair. We also do hair. You know, you have to make sure the designer's on point, and then you have to get them ready to be in the clothing. Yeah. So before we do makeup, you have to try on. Yes. It's like try on, make sure that garment looks perfect on yes. that particular model. Yes, it does. If it doesn't look good on you, one thing I notice about models, they get offended when a designer says, take it off, put it on. Take it off, put it on. It's what the designer wants it yes. to look like. They are the and, customer. Yes. And I always say, we're nothing but hangers. Yes. Okay. So I love it depends that. I love on. That. What hanger you want to be? Yes. You can be the wooden hanger, mm. the metal hanger, hanger, or a satin hanger. Mm. Me, I prefer the satin hanger. But yes. you know, <laughs> the 
sad to anger people. So I tell models that, you know, and come with a good attitude. Yes. You know, you're going to be there all day. All day. All day. You're going to be safe. tired. Yes. You're going to yes. be hungry at times. Yes. And I'm a, dr- I'm a drill sergeant when I'm in yes. the back because I like to push. <laughs> they don't understand. It's a lot of work behind the, behind the it's stage. It's a lot of work. When you go out on that runway, you have to be smiling or whatever attitude the yes. designer wants you to look when yes. you're out there. But. It, it's an all-day event. It can start, like I said, mine's gonna start out at five in the morning, get myself prepared to leave the house to get there by seven. Yes. Okay. Making sure everybody's on point. Mm-hmm. And like he said, time. Please be on time. Yes. Time okay. is of the essence. That's I mean, important. you can lose your job <laughs> in the fashion because they will tell you to go back home. I, I've and they're done not that a, Yes, times. and they are not. Mm-hmm playing with mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. and you will not get booked again so if you want to be in this industry you have to be on time yes. that's for anything timeliness is Absolutely. very that's important very important once we do the, the clothing and everybody has their pieces we also go through their shoes mm, make yes. sure the shoes matches the garment you know mm-hmm. you don't want the shoes to outshine the garment yes okay then it goes into makeup okay the hair and makeup and then we'll have that maybe 20 minutes on the runway so they can feel the runway because mm-hmm. some runways have them long yes feet, you know yes. Um, or have a dip yes so <laughs> you know they get on the runway they walk that and Good. then we go in the back we have maybe about a maybe about an hour downtime and then they're like get ready right and we're like get ready okay right. so we're running around <laughs> we're getting dressed <laughs> okay showtime right okay but before we do the showtime we all do get together and we practice Yes, say, you gotta know, start it off. Have to prayer. do that first, yes. and then it's, I always tell them, you know, when I'm in the back running the show, you might not like me. The show, <laughs> but just remember, <laughs> <laughs> I will come back and apologize <laughs> <laughs> and say I'm sorry, and I will give you the thumbs up. Yes. Job will be done, yes. and then. We can use you for the next show. Right. You know, and I mean, I, even though they <laughs> might not like you then, yes. but they're going to like when they see, see their those pictures. Beautiful, yes, mm-hmm. those beautiful yes, pictures. Yes, and see or, you know, them trending on different social media sites. So yes. it's not mm-hmm. always about what you think or how you perceive things mm-hmm. at that time. You're for a job. A job. And you have to do, do that job well. And I always tell them, you know, <laughs> even though you're with us, when you're on that runway, yes. you don't know who's in the audience yes. looking at you yes. that will pick you up for the next show, That's right. the next paid show. Yes. Okay? And and it, and it keeps going on and on and on. So always be professional. Yes. And be humble. Yes. Very humble Absolutely. when you do this. I mean, I'm very humble. I love it. I mean, when I went to her house, <laughs> when she walked away, I said, that dress, I want that dress, I want that dress, what size is that dress? I love the pieces. Mm-hmm. And not only is she in the on the cover, she's also inside the magazine with other pieces. Yes, so let's highlight the, that. Love, now, pieces. this piece is gorgeous. Yes, it is. And she is wearing it. Yes, yes I mean, she, she is. is yes. That that's a nice, <laughs> that's a nice <laughs> outfit <laughs> and model. She did a great job. Um, I tried that dress on. Beautiful. Hot day. Hot day. Hot day. Yeah, I tried that, that dress on. A little snug for me, but right. you know, <laughs> that's what I say about a designer. I go, I say, okay, if I can fit this, yes. if it's snug on me, it will fit her. Perfect. And that's what that's I right. do for my models. And awesome. I can look at you and say, oh, you a size four. Right. She said, no, I'm not. I'm a two. I said, no, you're a four. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they have to we be always want to be a little bit smaller than yes. when we were playing. <laughs> we did. Yeah. And they always say, well, I'm a 12. Well, look, I said, you're a 12. Right. You're a 12. Okay, what's your measurements? Right. Women must know their measurements. Mm. Okay, it's not your bra size. Right, mm-hmm. it's your measurements. It's your measurements. Because when you're dealing with designers, mm-hmm. they go by your measurements. Yes, they do. It, that's mm-hmm. very, that's key. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's key. Mm-hmm. So by the time all of that's going through, mm-hmm. I'll go. What's your measurements? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they be like, don't don't watch at least at least gonna ask you your measurements. Right. You gotta know your measurements. <laughs> and then if they don't. Need I pull my measuring tape yes. out and I measure them for them. I said, now those are your measurements. Yes, and you make sure you keep them, keep them. and know them the and, next time. And every, every two months, do your measurements. Mm, every you know, two we, months. Every two months, because we flex away. We do. We do it every month, but, you wow. know, we just have to watch that. Yes. You know, but um, that day could go from, like I say, 7 in the morning until 5 o'clock in the evening. Wow. And that's after the show. The show will start at 1. Mm-hmm. We'll be done in, like, 45 minutes. Okay. 45 minutes, we'd be done from the show, and then we have to pack up. But then after that, as the producer in the back, you got to make sure everything's cleaned up. You got to make sure everything's put away. You got to yes. make sure the, the designer clothes are on point. There's no damage done to those. Yes. You know, everybody takes all their stuff out of the back. So, yes, it's about a about a 12-hour day for me. Yes, wow. 
whole week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, pitches back to the designers. Mm-hmm. And whoever else wants the pitches for promoters or shows or yes. magazines. Or we have some other media who always ask me about getting stuff for them. Like, well, you know, I'm going to get my stuff first, then right. I'll share it with you guys. But yeah, that's the only part I don't like is. I guess I'm starting to enjoy it a little more than I did in the beginning because okay. I was always just like, I want to get to the next show and do what I need to do. But yeah, now I kind of lay back and do the editing. And she gets to see some of the crazy editing yes. I get to do. Yes, editing like, oh. is another Well, piece. she sees it as a lot more um, to it than just, um, yes. well, I got that Picking picture, a picture like, in right. an instant. Mm-hmm. Right. No, this, is, this isn't a snapshot. This is an actual craft. So. Yes, awesome. Yeah. So when you, so you're taking a thou- a hundred, hundreds of pictures. And so how do you... Select, you know, you have a magazine and you can only pick the best 20, 50, you know. How do you <laughs> narrow that down? So do you have like, do you have different pals? How well, does that we, work? We look at stuff. Um, then I send like emails to them and say, what do you think of this picture? It, it, like she says, if it doesn't pop, you know, <laughs> she really gets on about the cover. If it don't pop, and I send her, she's like, it's nah, nice. it, it does yeah. nothing for me. If I heard it's so nice, <laughs> yeah. well, like I said, it was, it's nice, and I know, okay, let me go back and look and see what else I got. But I always have to look at it from somebody else's view because, you know, yeah. I, as somebody shooting, I got to yeah. say, I love all my pictures. But, you know, <laughs> Absolutely. I always got to get somebody else's opinion on what pops. And like, ah, that doesn't for me. Okay. So um, usually when I hear that, um, I usually go back and get it. Or sometimes I send it to some of my buddies. And okay. Like, mm-hmm. Nah, no, that, that just looks plain. I'm like, okay, all right, so I switch it up. I've had, I don't know how many times I've had covers where I switch stuff, like, back Seven. and forth. Okay. Um, normally when I'm shooting, I can already tell what which one is cover. Gonna... Wow. Yeah. Sometimes I won't show them the pictures in the back of the cover, but I just say, eh, you know, let me see what's what. And then we go back and I said it usually takes me about two weeks before I yes. decide on the cover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it takes me a while. It's not like uh, the next so it's day. Not, oh, this, one, this is the one. Let's go for this. So no. You, you no. actually strategically, you know, think about which one is actually going to. You know, right. make a difference. Mm-hmm. Now, when I shoot fashion shows, it's a little different than when I'm shooting uh, my own stuff for the magazine. Okay. When you're shooting the fashion show, I make it do between 700 pictures. And wow. I'm not going to put all the pictures out. Most of the designers, they just want one or two images. They don't get a lot of pictures of the back. They right. just want straight up pictures of the front design. Mm-hmm. Some want back, usually for like wedding gowns or right. evening wear, stuff like that. But yeah. And then for the magazine, believe it or not, I don't shoot at all. Really? No. Wow. No, I'm very fast. I okay. usually know what I want. Um, I think on one of the hot days in Japan, we was there for what, an hour? An hour. I was like, okay, you got the rest of the day off. And then I'm in a hotel uploading, backing up everything. Um, and then I'm just kind of sitting around. I think I shot about 5,000 pictures. Wow. 5,000 yeah. pictures. Yeah. And how long was, were you in Japan? It's like a week. A week. A yeah. week. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And I think the last two days I didn't shoot. Right. Yeah. So... We're having to start to wrap up the show, but before we leave, I would like for you all to give us, we'll start with you, Shannon, give us um, <laughs> three nuggets, three tips three that tips. you would have for uh-huh. someone coming to purchase a nice outfit for a wonderful event. So tell us three things that you would uh, advise. You need to know <laughs> how comfortable you want to be. Yeah. Right? Yes. yes. Right. So think about that, you know. You know what your limitations are. You yes. know, if you don't want to be sucking in your stomach all yes. night, mm-hmm, then you need to choose something that's going to let you hang out a little bit. Okay. You know, you may no. eat that mm-hmm. rib or something. Yes, you know? yes, I love it. I love it. <laughs> you know, hey. right, you know? <laughs> sometimes you don't want to put it on that foundation. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Want to breathe? You know? Right. <laughs> Think about your shoes. Yeah. You know, because that's that's going to be your finishing touch. You yeah. know. And just, you know, be open to try different styles, you know. Yeah. I think, you know, sometimes people come and say, I want to look like this, and then I slide them something else. They're like, hold on, let me try that on. Right. And they walk out with something totally yes. different that looks amazing on them, and that what they came in for at all. So, yeah, those are those are the three nuggets that, that, I, would, that you know, I would say. Yes. Can, I, can I tell them that if they want to be a Prissiness yes. VIP? Yes. Prissy VIP? Text Prissiness, P-R-I-S-S-Y-N-E-S-S. See, the educator and me have to tell you that I did that on purpose. Yes. Um, so <laughs> wasn't P- an accident. text P-R-I-S-S-Y-N-E-S-S to 31996, and then you will get um, $5 off your next purchase, okay. and you'll get... First to know about events, sales, mm-hmm. and all the 
good stuff going on with um, prissiness. Okay. So, yeah. And then Mark and Lisa, let's just give us two fashion tips, one as a model and one as a magazine editor. Give us two fashion tips to take us home for that. Two total? Or yes, two, two total. total. Okay. My <laughs> tip would be always come with your A-game. Yes, mm, always please, come please. with your A-game. Yes. Might as well be to research your Mm. Yes. I'm gonna put out the tip there for you guys yes. who don't know. Um, we're actually telling people to subscribe to the digital issue because I'm actually giving out a three hundred dollar coach back. Oh, oh yes. three hundred dollar <laughs> coach back, ladies. Are y'all listening? <laughs> so, Hello. Um, I told them. <laughs> Everybody gonna be on their computer right now. It's only a twenty five dollar a year um, digital subscription to the yes. magazine. Yes. Um, and we're going to announce the winner live. Uh, it's going to be actually the end of March. March we might be there. We might be there. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I would like to thank my fantastic and fabulous guests for joining me and talking about fashion. Because <laughs> we love fashion, women, and all of the above. Yes. But I also would like to thank my sponsors, Resurgence Beauty, Beauty Lounge, for my hair and makeup. She always makes me look wonderful. That Thank you. My stylist, Denitria Washington. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, my other sponsor is D. Christopher Donnie. Thank you for the show and music. And we have if you need WBGR Sports and Entertainment Network. This is the Impact with Robin Dorsey coming to you live. Thank you. See you next week and have a fantastic day.